so this is going to be a Kylie Cosmetics review. I was going to say a tutorial or unboxing, but it's neither of those. Um, I've already unboxed this. I just kept the packaging to show you guys what it looked like. Um, yeah, so this is just going to be my review and honest opinion on the Kylie palettes that I got. Um, and I do want to apologize in advance for my glasses. I have to wear them because I don't have my contacts in. Um, they're right here. And it's, it's like 12 o'clock and I just didn't feel like putting them in. Also, I wanted to apologize for my attire. I mean, not really. I just wanted to explain, like, I don't get dressed up for videos. Um, I just kind of wear what I'm wearing and go with it. Like, I don't know. I just don't want to, like, fake it and, like, put on a cool outfit or whatever. Or, like, an outfit that I would wear out when I'm just going to wear it for this video and then take it off. So, I feel like that's kind of fake. But if you do that that's cool that's your choice your channel i just feel like i am more of a loungy um filming my sweatpants like pajama bottoms whatever type of person and that's just how i like to film um so i just wanted to explain why i'm wearing like a regular t-shirt and obviously you can't see my pants but i'm wearing flannel pants because it's like 20 degrees outside um so i just wanted to explain that also my hair is driving me nuts today so i'm like fidgeting with my hair so sorry about that like I feel like I need to cut my bangs I feel like they're way too long like I'm used to having like way shorter than this fringy bangs these are almost like this is the longest bang I've ever had except for when I had my really long hair like super long hair and it was like all one length I don't know I'm blabbering let's get on to the video all right so this is the packaging that the Kylie Cosmetics palettes came in. It's just regular black box. I'm not going to show the top because it's got a shipping label on it. Um, just a little tape. You open it up and voila, this is what it looks like. This is how you know you've got an official Kylie Cosmetics box and not a fake. Um, yeah, so it did have tissue paper in it like in between each of the palettes and um, bubbles, like the bubble wrap stuff, but I throw all that away. Like I said, I got this for Christmas, and it's already the 8th of January, so kept this for quite a bit. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Um, KylieCosmetics.com. Obviously, boxes can be faked, um, but the person that ordered this for me ordered it straight from the website. Um, it shows right here where it's coming from. Um, it shipped first class, which is nice. Um, USPS. So, yeah. So, um... Inside the box, you get, obviously, the Kylie eye card, everybody's favorite part of the unboxing. See how it moves? Isn't that cute? Like, she winks. And then on the back, it says, I couldn't wait to share my new eyeshadows with you. I hope you adore them as much as I do. I love you. And, of course, everything is E-Y-E -E instead of I, um, which is super cute. Whether she wrote this out herself or not... I don't know. She probably wrote one and then obviously they um, copied it. Whatever. Still cool. Still a nice little touch, I think. Um, yeah. I do want to put a disclaimer. Um, I'm not a Kylie hater or a Kylie lover. I'm kind of just like, I like her makeup since I've gotten these. And I mean, she's a human just like everybody else she's got feelings so i don't feel like necessary to voice my opinion about the things that she does or how she carries herself or what she does in her life it's not my business um so i guess if you just don't care for kylie or whatever then just don't watch the video um i really don't want like negative feedback or whatever for liking the products um or disliking them whatever my opinion may be in this video um, I just kind of want to put that out there. Like, I don't want this to be, like, a negative space. I want it to be a positive space. Um, same thing with, like, Kat Von D products and Jeffree Star. Like, I know there's a big thing with that. Like, I don't want any kind of negative energy around my channel. So, I guess if you want to be negative, then just, like, go somewhere else. Because I'm just trying to keep it positive, keep it cool. Like, my opinions on the person isn't what this video is about. It's about the makeup. So, that's just what it is. Um, so the card is a nice touch. Super cute. I really love this. This is going to be going on my door actually because I have like a lot of different makeup things. So I'm going to like put this on there because it's super cute. I love it. Okay. So I got two palettes here. 
Um, the first palette that I got is the burgundy palette. And the second one is the bronze palette. Obviously, the bronze came out first and the burgundy came out second. Um, I really like the packaging. It's super cute. Um, I like how it's different colors. Uh, and the packaging looks exactly the same on the front and the back. So, I mean, you know it's authentic. Um, watched a lot of videos. Obviously person who bought this for me isn't going to tell me that it's real if it's fake so um I really love them so let's go into the bronze one first because it's the first one that came out they're the perfect size too also I don't really find a problem with not having the mirror um obviously for whatever the prices are what are they like 40 45 she could put a mirror in here especially since it's so small she could put a little mirror in here and whatever also I think it'd be really cute to put a mirror in here and then like in a white calligraphy to write her name like on the bottom corner that would be super cute um just to keep like the Kylie in there I feel like that would be super cute or to do like a lip like a kiss that would be adorable too um so yeah that's my only complaint like or non complaint that I see floating around like I'm not complaining about it um but of course you know for $45 there could be one in here but I do my makeup right here and if I travel um, I always take a mirror with me, so it's really not that big of a deal for me. But I guess if you do want to travel with only this and nothing else, then it's going to be a problem. So uh, maybe for a future reference, just either take a little palette with you or, or like a little mirror. Or maybe she can just put a mirror in here. That would probably be pretty cool. Um, so I really like the front. I love the eyes. Like, it's super cute. I always loved her packaging. It before I even like seen the shadows I've always loved the packaging and obviously this is what it looks like on the inside it just says Kylie um and you get nine shades uh let's see the weight or the ounces on these they're 1.4 grams um which is 0 0.05 ounces a piece and I think that's the same on the other one too so and then from left to right you got Jasper Quartz Topaz Goldstone, Citrine, Tiger Eye, Obsidian, Bronzite, and Hematite. Um, so yeah, those are the colors. And yeah, so I'll do a little swatching on my hand and I'll be right back. Alright, so here are the shades. That was really bad. Why didn't I swatch them right here? That was so dumb. Anyways, those are the swatches starting from Jasper all the way down to Hematite. Um... I will say that um, when I first touch them, obviously we have some that are a little dusty um, that I'm actually having to blow off. Um, Jasper is probably the most um, dusty or like that has the most fallout. Obviously it's um, one of the mattes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six seven mattes and two shimmers yeah so I mean I like this palette I feel like it works better with a brush as opposed to your finger I feel like they're um some of them are very silky and some of them are just not like like I said Jasper is very floaty very um dusty um but it still works really well I'm actually wearing it under my okay my bangs under my brow bone today with a little bit of highlight so um I like it I I like the way that it applies with a brush more than I do swatching it swatches with this palette just really don't work um I feel like the oils from your fingers kind of don't work with this formula I don't know um but I like the way it performs on the lid so and I don't prime with this because I also feel like the primer um makes it do this weird like creasing thing when it's supposed to be like the opposite it's not supposed to crease but I feel like um it it creases weird with primer I do conceal sometimes like use concealer as a primer instead or like a little paint pot um so that works better than uh my <sighs> primer I can't think today so I really do enjoy this one um I really like it so I would I would buy it again. I mean, when her new one comes out, I'm for sure going to buy it. I think it actually already came out. I think it came out today or yesterday. I don't know. But, yeah. So, I really enjoy it. My favorite color is probably Citrine. I like Jasper, too, as far as, like, highlighting inner corners and brow bone. 
um, and blending. And I really like him and tight. I like that one too. So. Ow. I just hit myself in the face. So yeah. I like this one. Um, and then the next one is the Burgundy palette. Obviously the same packaging. This one's probably my favorite. Gorgeous colors. I don't have a lot of reds and cranberries. Um, well, I do now, but I didn't before, so I really wanted this. So, um, this corner, from left to right, or right to left, right to left. Duh. Okay, we have Penny, Beach, Naked, Dubai, Burgundy, LA, Almond, New York, and Brick. Um, I am really in love with the Burgundy shade. That's probably everybody's favorite, I think. Um, I really like Dubai also. Um, and brick and almond. So like these four here. Um, I, this is probably, um, I mean, this is my favorite. I'm just going to swatch them real quick. And these ones I feel are a lot creamier. This second shadow is a little dusty. Um, and obviously I'm swatching these without, um, without a, uh, primer down first. So it's just directly on the skin. Oh, I love this color. <sighs> the shimmers in this one are super creamy though. And there's three shimmers to this one. They're so creamy. This is horrible swatching. But <laughs> there they are. I really love them. I feel like they're the perfect... Um... um I can't think of what I'm trying to say. They're the perfect. I don't know. They're very opaque. Like, I really like how they, the color is. I like um, how they blend. I like, what is ugh, on this one? <sighs> yeah, that's the only thing. Like, this burgundy one, I feel is a little rough. Like, ugh, it's got something like, <sighs> I don't know. It feels like a little grainy, this one right here. Um, I don't know if that's just, obviously it's the formula, because none of the other ones are like that. Um, but they're all really creamy besides that one. That one feels a little grainy, but um, everybody's could be different. The formula could be different. Everybody's also, um, that's the only one that's like that. So, and it still performs very well. I love this one right here. So pretty. It's so shimmery. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I know there's so many people out there who just hate her palettes, and I really don't understand why. I feel like a lot of people just judge her and not her product. It's really not bad. I mean, I'm going to be 100% honest. I like this palette better than I like my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. Like, all of those are chalky. Like, let's just be real. Like, all of the Kat Von D Shade and Light colors are chalky. And only a few of these really are, and it's really not that, and it's cheaper than the Shade and Light. Yes, the Shade and Light comes with a mirror. That's not really that big of a deal. Like, there's so many other palettes. I'm sure you're not, you're not buying this for the first time and it'd be like your only palette. If you are, hopefully maybe she'll come out with a palette with a mirror. I'm sure she will after hearing all the crap people are saying about it. Like, I still think these are really good. I mean... That's just my opinion. Your opinion also is your own, and it matters, obviously. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying, for the price point, obviously you're paying a little bit more because it's Kylie, but it's not that bad. Like, I would pay the 40 bucks or 45 again for it. I just, it it's not that bad for me, and I find myself using this every day, especially this one, um, the bronze palette. I use Jasper every day. Um, I've been using this burgundy color, like, every other day. I mean, I love it. So, I mean, I really just don't see the problem with them. I feel like they, they're not that bad. Some of them, obviously, like I said, dusty, but I mean, if you love Kat Von D, you should like Kylie because, I mean, they're pretty much the same. Um, not trying to bash either or. I mean, both of them obviously have wonderful makeup products. Um, I love these palettes and I love Kat Von D makeup. I have a lot of them, but this shade and light palette, I mean, look at that. It's just sitting there and I'm already, can't see it, but I'm already blowing off dust. I mean, it's just sitting there. 
and it's dusty. So, I mean, nobody's shadows are perfect 100%. I feel like this was her first two palettes. I'm interested to see what she does with the rest of her company, the rest of her brand. I'm interested to see if she goes further than palettes. Maybe she'll do, um, obviously she's got the lip kits, but maybe she'll do highlighters, bronzers. Maybe she'll go all out with the makeup and hopefully she does and hopefully she's successful and hopefully they're good products um i do hope for the people that do care that she does put a mirror in the palette um so that way you know you feel like you're getting your money's worth um it would be cool to maybe see like a cute little brush with this maybe i would prefer a brush than a palette that's or than a mirror so that's just me but um a little brush would be cute also, though, I do like that this doesn't have, like, a brush spot because I feel like that is such a waste of space on a palette. Um, all of my Urban Decay ones are like that. And I feel like it's such a waste because I just pull it out and throw it in a cup. And I don't know. So maybe a cute little brush on the side inside the box or whatever and a mirror. Maybe everybody will. Every, that'll please everybody. A brush and a mirror and sell it for 45 bucks. You know, whatever, 50. Bump it up. But... I feel like they're worth the 45 that they are already. Um, I really enjoy them. That's just my opinion. Um, buy at your own risk. I'm not sponsored by Kylie, obviously. I'm just here to give my opinion. Um, so yeah, I, I really dig this packaging. I wonder if these are her eyes. Is this her eyes? I'm pretty sure it is because it's the Kylie palette. But this is really nice art. I really like it. And it's simple and it's catching and it's like you immediately are drawn to this like it's white and it's got the cute like sketched eyes on it it's just so adorable i really like it um so yeah that's my opinion on the kylie cosmetics palettes hopefully i get some lip kits soon um they're on my wish list so yeah um thank you guys for watching if you have any comments you want to leave good or bad i'm open to opinions i'm not like anti-opinion like I feel like everybody opinion everybody's opinion matters and I'm very open-minded so um if you had a good experience if you had a bad experience I would love to hear about it uh so yeah I'll talk to you guys later